In this video, I'm going to discuss this question. Let kids denote the number of children ever born to a woman and let EDUC denote years of education for the woman. A simple model relating fertility to years of education is this. So basically in this model, kids is the dependent variable and this education variable is the independent variable. And this U term over here is the unobserved error. The first part of the question is, what kind of factors are contained in U? First of all, let's understand what do we mean by this U and what kind of factors can we expect to be a part of this U term. So basically in this U term, we have those factors that affect the dependent variable. So we have those factors that affect the dependent variable that is the Y variable. The Y variable in this case is this, kids. Okay, so those factors that affect the dependent variable but are not already included in the model. So for example, education is already included in the model, but education is not the only factor that affects this dependent variable. Okay, there are some more factors that affects the number of children ever born to a woman and all those factors which you have not taken into this model are a part of this error term. And that's what they are asking us to think in the first part that what kind of factors do you think are contained in you? So now you have to think of some factors that affect the number of children ever born to a woman. So for example, it could be income that that woman is earning right it could also be age okay so you can think of some factors there could be many i'm just writing two factors over here income and age of women now the second thing that we have over here are these likely to be correlated with the level of education so that means these two factors that are part of you are they correlated with this independent variable that we have already included in the regression model well the answer is yes let me explain you how so the first thing that you need to note over here is that they are asking are these likely to be correlated. So basically this is a theory question. You do not have any data over here to find the correlation between these variables and the education variable. So whatever answer you are going to write it has to be a logical explanation. So let's see how can we relate income to the level of education of women. Well, it's kind of obvious that these two variables, that is education and income, they are going to be positively correlated because we expect both of them to move together. So if your education level is high, you are likely to have high level of income. And if your education level is low, you are likely to have low level of income. So yes, there are some factors in this error term that is you, which are correlated with the level of education. And this is how you have to create your reasoning. Okay, so that's the answer to the first part. And once again, it's not necessary that you just have to stop at these two factors. You can write whatever factors you think are relevant that affect the number of children ever born to a woman. Okay, now let's move to the second part of this question. In the second part, we have, will a simple regression analysis uncover the citrus paribus effect of education on fertility explain? Well, the straightforward answer to this is no. Let me explain how. See, let's write kids over here. Let's write EDUC over here. And let's write U over here, which has variables like income, age, etc. Okay. Now, if you want to have Cetrus Paribus effect of education on fertility, that means when education changes, it should have nothing to do with this. Okay. So this kind of relationship should not exist. Otherwise, you will not be able to uncover the Septus Paribus effect. See, think of it in this manner that what's the meaning of this Septus Paribus thing? The Septus Paribus thing means that if we change the education, the other factors that can affect the fertility should not be changed. So there should not be any sort of linkage between this and this. Okay, this is how you're going to show that you get Cetrus Paribus effect. If there is any linkage between the education and the variables that you have in the error term, you will not be able to get the Cetrus Paribus effect. This is because if you change the education, then the variables in the error term are also going to change and then even they are going to have their impact on this. Okay, so you do not want this. Okay, so this is something you do not want. The only thing that you want for a Cetrus Paribus effect is this effect. Okay, so you do not want education and your error term to be related. Now, this is something which is not happening in this case because the kind of variables that we have in the error term are income, age, etc. And we have already discussed that income 
has something to do with education, they are positively related. So that means you will not be able to get the septus paribus effect of education on fertility. In fact, if you have to talk in terms of assumption, this is actually the violation of the assumption that expected value of u given x is equal to expected value of u. So let me explain this assumption part in detail. We have the assumption that expected value of u is equal to 0 and the assumption that expected value of u given x is equal to expected value of u. And when we combine these two things, we get that expected value of u given x is equal to 0. This is something that you must have seen at many places. So this assumption that expected value of u given x equal to 0, this is a combination of these two things. Okay, now the first part of this thing that is expected value of u given 0, this is something that we do not worry about a lot till the time you have an intercept term in the model. So till the time you have an intercept term in the model, you do not have to worry about this part that expected value of u is equal to 0. In fact, in the next video, I'm going to discuss a question in which I will prove you this kind of thing that if you have an intercept term in the model, then expected value of u is equal to 0 is not an issue. And by the intercept term, I mean this beta 0. So till the time you have this beta 0 in your model, expected value of u equal to 0 is going to hold. So this is not an issue. The main thing that we have to be concerned about is this. Okay. And what is the meaning of this? Well, if I have to explain it in layman terms, then the meaning of this expression is that your u and your x variable, by x variable, I mean the independent variable that you have taken in the model. So in this example, the x variable is educ. Okay, so the meaning of this assumption is that u and educ should not be related. And if they are related, that means you have violated this assumption. So you have violated this assumption. And if this is violated, that means this is also violated. Okay, and what are the consequences of the violation of this assumption? Well, this is the assumption that you need for the unbiasedness of your estimators. So what is going to be the estimator of beta zero? The estimator of beta zero is going to be beta zero hat. And the estimator of beta one is going to be beta one hat. So let's say these are the OLS estimators and we are using the method of OLS to figure out these estimators. So these estimators will turn out to be biased if this assumption gets violated. So in this particular case, if you work with this model, and if you estimate this model using the method of OLS, then your beta zero hat and your beta one hat are going to be biased estimators because this assumption over here is getting violated, right? So this is the explanation that in this particular case, we will not be able to uncover the septus paribus effect of education on fertility because education is related with some of the factors that we have in the error term. And this is leading to the violation of this particular assumption that I have written over here. And the consequence of the violation is that your estimators that you are getting, they are biased estimators now. Okay, so that's it for this question.